Today, I'm coming at you with a very, very special video. This is going to be an updated method of how to enable the Metal Performance HUD on your iPhone or iPad running iOS or iPadOS 26. Now, for this, you will need a Mac. You will need to download Xcode and you will need to download the program created by a fellow YouTuber, Mr. MacWright. Now this guy has an awesome channel. He covers a lot of the brand new games coming to Apple platforms and his overall seems like a great guy. And please, I'm going to have a link to his channel in the description. If you find this guide useful, please go subscribe to him. Go support him any way you possibly can. He is the fantastic guy that not only creates amazing videos, but created this amazing tool for us to use to make the process of enabling the Metal Performance HUD even easier. So let's get into it. You're going to go to the first link in the description. It's going to take you to Mr. MacWright's GitHub page. We're then going to click on the Metal HUD mobile config. And once that loads, we're going to go to releases and we are going to download the latest. In this case, it's Metal HUD Mobile Config version 2.2.1 released four days ago as of the recording of this video. So let's click that and we're going to download the DMG. And it is done downloading. So let's drag it into our applications folder. Metal HUD Mobile Config is an app downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? Yes, we do. Xcode is not installed. So what we need to do is now press OK and it should open up the App Store and bring us to where we can download and install Xcode. Once this is done downloading, we'll be back. All right, so once Xcode finishes downloading, we can then open it, agree, type your password, and we can just make sure that macOS is selected. We can uncheck this and press install. Continue. Okay, and now that we're here, now we need to connect our phone or iPad to the Mac via a USB cable and with Xcode open on the Mac, that is very important. Xcode has to be open on the Mac. With Xcode open on the Mac and your phone or iPad connected via a cable, you also have to make sure the computer is trusted by your device, meaning you tap trust and you inputted your password. Once all that is done, as you see here, you need to go into settings. You need to scroll down to privacy and security, and you need to scroll all the way down Till you see developer mode. Once you see developer mode, you need to tap that to open the menu. And then we need to enable developer mode, which does require a restore of your device. So once your device is restarted, you should be presented with a screen saying your device is ready for developer mode. You then need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and tap enable. Your device will then be put into developer mode. Once we're in developer mode, we're all good to go ahead and open the Metal HUD mobile config app on our Mac. With your device connected via USB still, obviously, we're then going to press on list devices. Please connect your device via USB, which we've already done. Wireless works after pairing. So after the first time you use this, you will no longer need a cable. It will sync and show in the devices list via Wi-Fi after the first time. So let's press OK. We see, and as we see, iPhone 17 Pro Max connected. On your phone, you want to open the game that you want to display the metal HUD on. In this case, it's going to be Resident Evil Village. Let's press OK. Make sure your selected game is open and all other apps are closed before clicking Show Running Games. In this case, I've closed all my other apps and I just have Resident Evil Village running right now. And now it's giving us a list of applications. We need to find Resident Evil Village or whatever game you want to choose. So there you see Resident Evil Village for iOS. We are then going to uh, save the game for future so we don't have to go through this. Now that's saved. Okay. Now as far as HUD preset, we have default, which will be the default simple fps only which will show you obviously the fps only rich full and custom for this video i'm gonna go rich so once you have all your settings selected and you have the game selected and your device selected and the game is still open by the way you now need to close the game and then at the bottom of the screen once the game is closed on your phone or ipad you're then going to click the launch button at the bottom and you should then see the metal hud on your screen 
while the game is loading. As you guys can see there, the metal HUD is indeed there. And this process was so quick, so easy, so painless. Once again, huge shout out to Mr. MacWright for creating this application and making this entire process much more seamless and much more easy to do. And I do have an Amazon storefront link down below if you guys want to check out some of the cool products I have listed there. I'm sure you guys will find a ton of value in my Amazon storefront. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.